Brian Ortega might be the toughest dude in mixed martial arts, but he also suffered some serious damage tonight that could have some real concerns. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter and this is your number one source for learning about the unique medical side of the world of sports. This fight certainly could have been stopped here. We saw the doctors come out to examine Ortega and I'll admit it kind of looked a little bit shaky in terms of how well he was doing with answering the doctor's questions, in terms of how his eyes were actually functioning. I'll be honest, the combination of seeing this significant bruising here right underneath and that kind of inferior orbital rim and kind of the flattening that it seemed like it looked like he had on that right side of the face definitely raises concern for the possibility of an orbital fracture. There were certainly plenty of punches that could have contributed to this, the least of which being this one here. We see Volkanovski come in and that right lands basically square on that right eye, kind of right at that orbital rim here of Ortega and even forces it down a little bit into the mat. There were certainly big heavy shots to Ortega's left side as well. You can see here all that energy that gets transferred impact on the left side of Ortega's face, but how the skin and everything just shifts over to the right side because of how much force was behind that punch. This was right after Ortega came back at the end of the round where he was just completely laying flat on his back and somehow managed to get up. And a couple of things here. Number one, we see this really kind of focal prominent swelling right at that inferior orbital rim. With trauma to the face and immediate kind of bruising or what we call ecchymosis right there under the skin, that does raise some concern in and of itself for an orbital fracture. But it also just generally looks like that right side of his face here is a little bit flat, a little bit sunken in. You might remember Billy Joe Saunders when he broke his orbital bone, you could kind of see how that right side of the face just was a little bit sunken. You kind of lost this nice full prominence of that zygomatic process because of that orbital fracture. Now Ortega's is a little bit unique because he does still have that kind of focal swelling, but that focal swelling could just be from underlying bleeding because of the fracture. We'll talk about why these are so concerning and the anatomy next, but first I wanna give a shout out to the sponsor of today's video. Today's video is sponsored by Geology, a personalized men's skincare company that's completely reinventing the way the guys can take care of their skin. Skincare is science, and what you're putting on your face shouldn't feel like a gamble. Geology's products are built around powerful and proven ingredients that have been trusted by dermatologists for decades. They really take pride in what's in their products and are not filling them with a bunch of extra marketing fluff. Get started today by clicking the link in the description to take a short 30 second diagnostic quiz to make sure you're getting products that are tailored specifically for your individual needs. Whether you have sensitive skin, acne, dark puffy eyes, Geology is going to provide you with a set of products that are specific for your needs. Get started with their complete trial set to really take advantage of the full program with an everyday face wash, a vital morning face cream, a repairing night cream, and a nourishing eye cream. Use code BRIAN70 to get 70% off. This means you can get your 30-day trial set for as little as $9. Don't be intimidated anymore trying to figure out what's best for your skin and get started today. Code BRIAN70 for 70% off your order and get your 30-day complete trial set for as little as $9. Thank you again to Geology for sponsoring today's video and let's get back to our learning. Looking at our biodigital anatomy tool here, I've shown one of the eyes and I've got the other just an empty socket. The area where we see a lot of that focal swelling in Ortega is right here over an area we call the zygomatic process. It's sort of this confluence of a number of bones of the face, including the zygomatic bone right here, the mandible or the upper jaw, and then part of the temporal bone here on the back. But this is basically your cheekbone. It's what you feel here, this prominence on the side of your face. And when you get a fracture of that inferior orbital rim, you kind of get some flattening in the contour of the soft tissues coming here through your cheek. The challenging part for the doctors is, of course, in mixed martial arts, there's a lot of impacts and shots to the face. And so it can be tough to pick these up in the moment, which is why the doctors go through their exam that we'll talk about in a second. So thinking of that anatomy, that zygomatic process, nice and full here on the left side of his face, but certainly looks like everything here on the right is just a little bit flattened, a little bit sunken in there, possibly suggestive of a fracture. The reason these are so concerning is because they can cause damage to the eye. You'll see that all these little muscles that help control our eye movements basically wrap around the eyeball, but then run up along those bones of the orbit. Specifically, when we have a fracture of the inferior orbit or the lower portion of the eye socket, it can pinch this muscle called the inferior rectus. It's a muscle that when it fires, it makes our eyeballs point down. But if that muscle gets trapped within fractured bone or swelling in there, it isn't able to allow the eye to move. One of the ways we test this is by having people look up. When they look up, if that muscle below the eye is pinched, they won't be able to move the eye because it's basically anchored from the fracture. So the first thing we see the ringside doc doing here is checking extraocular movements. He's using his finger, telling Ortega to follow his finger to see if those eyes are moving in the right direction. Now, 
It is interesting here at the end, we saw Ortega, instead of being able to track kind of across midline there, he just turned his whole head to the side to follow the finger, which is a little bit potentially concerning that he had to do that. And also, like I said, it's really important when you're doing this that you go up and down because that's a lot more specific for that inferior orbital fracture. As we watch through this here, then the next thing the doc is going to do is something called like confrontation. He just does that quick little sudden movement to basically see if Ortega's pupil is responsive to that sort of sudden stimulus. That's one way to tell if somebody can see or not without relying on just them responding to the question. So presumably that looked okay. He does the same thing on the other side. He's asking him if he can see, which in of itself is not very reliable in a fighter who of course wants to keep fighting. And then we see him doing some stuff with following directions. They're counting the number of fingers that he's seeing. And so you're trying to get a sense of if the fighter is able to see, but again, I would really hope that in this situation, they kind of push on that area because you can see it just looks kind of flattened. It looks like it's potentially broken here. Push a little bit on that area, see if there's depression. It looks like they did it a bit here. Or Herb is doing it on the left side, but check that on the right. Nevertheless, they felt comfortable with him going out and fighting, which it's hard to question that decision from just sitting at home watching. And he didn't seem to get too much more severe damage during the rest of the fight. I suspect Ortega is going to get something like a CT scan to evaluate for fractures just with as much trauma as he sustained. There's certainly no guarantee that he had one. I really hope that he didn't. Because if you do, like I said, that can be more severe with permanently threatening your vision, depending on how bad it is. The whole purpose of this bump on the side of your face is to help protect your eye. By having this kind of protrusion, if anything is going to strike the front of your face, generally it's going to hit the bones instead of directly hitting the eye. You'd rather the bone breaks than have severe trauma and rupture of the eyeball. So I hope the best for Ortega in his post-fight evaluations. He certainly showed some major toughness tonight to be able to compete and keep fighting through all of that trauma. Definitely seemed like a fight of the year candidate. Let me know as always any questions or comments you guys have down below. I hope this was educational to talk a little bit through the anatomy, kind of some concerns with orbital fractures, specifically based here on what we saw with Ortega. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.